All right, hey guys, we're gonna work on finding friction today, the coefficient of friction, the force of friction, um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that, okay? So first off, I've got my lab quest here. It's already turned on for me. I've grabbed my force sensor from our cupboard right here. Here's my force sensor. I've taken it out, here it is. And it's important to note that the force sensor plugs in to the side of the lab quest. So you're gonna see three different ports any of those three will do and it automatically IDs it. At this point, I'm gonna zero my force sensor. I'm gonna lay it on its side and touch force sensor and touch zero. That way I've got a measure of zero when nothing, nothing is being applied, nothing is being done to the force sensor. So this lab is pretty simple. We have to mass our block and then to it, we're gonna be adding more masses. So Here's 500 grams. So altogether, the mass for this demonstration is gonna be 628 grams or 0 0.628 kilograms. <clears throat> to take the data, I'm gonna change my duration to five seconds. 10 is a little much. 50 samples a second is okay. I'm gonna place the hook of my force sensor into the loop of the block. And when I pull, I'm gonna be sure to pull at a constant speed. When I am ready, I'm gonna press play and begin my pull. Slowly increasing the force until it starts to move and then pull at a constant speed. And you can see my five seconds is up. Here's my data. So I can figure out the average force at which I was pulling at a constant speed by highlighting that section, touching graph, or sorry, touching analyze, touching statistics, force, and see it says mean right here on the screen, 1.683. That tells me my average force in that section. This was the section when the block was moving, so this would be my kinetic force. If I touch right at the start, at the very peak when it started to move, you can see that that force was 1.949. That's my static force. I'll do it one more time so you can see again. I'm gonna press play. I'm gonna to start to pull gently until it starts to move and then I'm gonna pull at a constant speed. Here it is again. That peak value is my static friction. The average of the moving values, analyze, statistics, force, the average is 1.7. That tells me my kinetic friction. So now I have the mass of what I'm pulling from the scale. I've got the force. I can find the coefficients easily. Also note that the static friction should always be greater than the kinetic friction. All right, have fun and good luck.